We have been traveling the rich lands of East Africa, far and wide, across the highlands and lowlands of this beautiful region, talking to farmers wherever we go. We have given them the help and knowledge they need to improve their farming methods, increase their income. This is another revisit episode of Shamba Shepherd. Back in the 90s, we had a radio show, a drama, but by 2005, 50% of Kenyans had The Great Wall of China, a TV set for $50. Ashamba is a small farm. 75% um, of the population live on two or three acres. At the land where it's down there near the river, I plant kills, spinach, and amaranth. So how could we target that, specifically that rural audience? And we came up with the idea of Shamba Shape Up. Shamba Shape Up is a TV program in English and Swahili based on education and entertainment. TV is so much more powerful. Not only can we explain things, but we can show things. Going on TV, the farmers are actually practically seeing it happen in their own own Shamba. So the message gets through. On top of the ridge, we plant the vines with two nodes in the soil and one out. The ridges ensure the plants have enough soil to produce many large roots. They have recommended me about my soil. They have told me the plant I'm, I can use to plant in my shamba. And now okay. I'm doing them. Shamba Shape Up viewers who said they made a change as a result of watching Shamba Shape Up and the dairy issues particularly, increased their value in Kenya by $24 million. That was the increase of value of milk produced from Shamba Shape Up viewers adopting what we had said. Research shows that 430,000 households are benefiting from the program. There are 3 million people watching the program in Kenya. There are 10 million people watching the program in East Africa. So we've got both urban and rural. The biggest proportion is rural. The other very interesting factor is that more women watch Shamba Shape Up than men do. Traditionally, you know, they've been learning, you know, you overcook the vegetables. That's how they've been doing it in the villages. And now they realize they've been taught, you don't have to cook all, unless you kill all the nutrients. So I think that's very important, especially for the children is that women really value this information. It's one of the only sources that they can access um, regular, um, appropriate information. And that's uh, very exciting for us because the women are responsible for a lot of the farm work and uh, a lot of the issues around nutrition, for example, and food. I cow I milk in the morning and the evening. Neighbors, they come and bought them. I sold to them and the rest I take with my children. We've been talking about increasing agricultural productivity, so we've been talking about maize and, and, and the key crops. We've become increasingly interested as we're going along to see that there are a range of really good crops which have um, a high value in terms of nutrition. And uh, one of the issues that uh, got us thinking more about this was the orange sweet potato, which is high levels of vitamin A. After every episode and during the episode, if there's something of interest, we run a little strip along the bottom saying, if you want this information, SMS us and we'll send you a leaflet. And we send out leaflets like this. 1,000, 2,000 people may contact us every week. With that, we've got their names and addresses. How many people asked for that specific leaflet? We'd be able to tell you, we'd be able to show you the messages, and then we would also be able to show you where those messages came from. People can also SMS us and ask questions. We put that up on, onto our website and the, the, the technical partners or the partners can answer those questions, fill in a little box and send it back out through our system. It's for me how to know what variety of uh, crop to grow, especially maize, how to know the best variety for this area. And then through using the iPhone, I uh, can be able to SMS I see the companies and get the collective varieties to plant that do better here. 
we're trying to improve people's knowledge, we're trying to show different attitudes, and then we show different practices. But we try to show the practice which is either researched and tried and tested and works, and we show the benefits. So we're changing knowledge, changing the way people are thinking about things, and then getting people to see the benefit of changing their practice. Because the end game is to change practice. Thank you.